First, our task is to find common points and then get a common result out of these points. First, it's economic development in times of anti-terrorist operations. And secondly, new technologies that will help us advance. Thirdly, protection of our interest in different arenas, political arenas and, of course, in the military sphere. These points should unite us and we should be finding solutions, a legal solution. You know what jurists in Ukraine say? We either won or it's not finished yet. So we must go forward and maximize what we are interested in. Concerning historical facts, we have a common history with Israel, Jewish history within the Ukrainian territory, and the history of Israel is connected with us. We shouldn't find things that separate us. We should learn the lessons of what had happened, draw conclusions and give guarantees to our children that it will never happen again. This is our goal. Murderers don't have a nationality. Murderers don't have the names of their organizations. It doesn't matter how certain terroristic acts were done or why. We are united with Israel on this issue. We have total mutual understanding and we should continue to help each other and develop. Cooperation is ongoing. For example, we brought military specialists from Israel who lectured in our military academies. There, Israel's investment projects here in Ukraine with Israel's technologies, which are also used in the industry for the military, which has already started to work in Ukraine. There is international support, and the vote on latest UN resolution proves it. Besides, there is still work in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, OSCE, NATO. Furthermore, I think we have a unique chance for cooperation. Israel doesn't support the sanctions against Russia. It's not a member of the EU, but it could join the sanctions individually. The issues of economic and military development should be considered individually, and it's completely feasible that Israel might be helping us much more than some EU states, like Finland, for example, or even France. It's difficult for me to say. So we, along with Israel, should work our separate individual programs. Furthermore, I think Israel might help us even more, not through sanctions, but through providing us with some capabilities, experience on combating terrorism. Several Israeli instructors have accepted Ukrainian citizenship. They work here and really do help Ukraine. This is the work of our group of international parliamentary connections. We also developed our relations in medicine, which we really need, post-conflict medicine, in psychology sphere, psychological rehabilitation of people returning from the conflict zone. This is a really big problem. We find the money ourselves, not from the budget. We send people to Israel, where they learn and then return home. So we are working on finding these common points necessary points and use them to help and without restrictions. That's how I see our process with Israel.